is going to be a roundup of my favorite products of 2017. So that's including organic makeup and skincare products that I've discovered and fell in love with this year. I'm super excited to make this video because I love to watch these videos and see what some products are that people can't live without the whole year. It's like the best of favorites of the whole year of beauty and I think especially in this non-toxic organic makeup world and beauty world it's really helpful to discover what people love so you can make informed purchases. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm going to be talking about makeup and skincare and I just have one hair thing. So let's get started. Little disclaimer, some of these products may be repetitive if you watch some of my videos, especially some of the makeup products, but the reason I've talked about them so much is because I actually really do love them. So I hope that doesn't get annoying and I am just going to try and go as quickly and as briefly as possible because I have so many products to go over. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with skincare and my first favorite skincare product is a new creamy cleanser that I have not mentioned yet. So this is the Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser. I had loved the Andalou Naturals Meyer Lemon Creamy Cleanser the past two years. If you guys watch my videos, you will know that. So I really wanted to branch out and try something different. I really liked this one because it has a similar consistency and it's not too much of like an actual lotion like the Juice Beauty Creamy Cleanser was for me. So this is super affordable and you'll see that I love Mad Hippie because they're really nice products but they're still at an affordable price and you can find them at Whole Foods stores. So I absolutely love this cleanser. It has a really nice light scent to it too and it doesn't irritate my eyes and it does remove my makeup if need be. So another Mad Hippie product that I fell in love with this year is the Mad Hippie Eye Cream. I didn't discover this until really recently, so the end of 2017. I wanted something that I wasn't going to be dipping my hands in all the time, so this has a little pump on it and will squirt out just a little bit. And this feels super moisturizing under my eyes, and it does have a really nice light scent as well, which I enjoy, but I know their products are super clean. Um, one thing I quickly wanted to mention is my skin really changed this year coming into the winter time. So I was definitely experimenting with a lot of new products and figuring out a new system that worked for me. So a lot of these products are geared towards my drier skin or how I use them, but I think anyone could use most of these things. Okay, the last Mad Hippie product that I absolutely fell in love with this year is the Mad Hippie Antioxidant Facial Oil. I bought this probably at least six months ago, used it up, absolutely loved it, waited a while, and had to repurchase it already. This smells amazing. It moisturizes my face really well, and during the summertime, I was using this as like just an oil moisturizer at nighttime, and then now that it's winter and I'm drier, I'm using an oil serum under, and then this, and it's just working really well for me. My skin responds really well to oils, and I know a lot of oily skinned people are afraid of oils, but it'll actually balance the oil production if you have overly oily skin. So oils really work well for dry and oily skin, it's just how you use them. So if you are oily, don't be afraid to try this. This is my probably top skincare product of the year. My favorite daytime facial moisturizer of this year was the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Daily Shade uh, Facial Lotion with SPF 18. If you guys have watched my other videos, you know I love their anti-aging version of this one, um, but I repurchased it so many times I had to try something new, so I picked up this version. I love having an SPF in my facial moisturizer just because it's no fuss to have to additionally add sunscreen or something like that. I know I've got a little bit of coverage no matter what. And I like buying a less expensive facial moisturizer because I tend to put it on and wash it off multiple times a day sometimes. Like if I go to the gym, I wear it before the gym, come home, wash my face do everything over again and put it on again. So at this point in my life, I don't want to spend a ton of money on a moisturizer that I'm constantly doing that with. So this works super well for me. This you can find at like all of the natural food stores and it's really, it's really convenient. My favorite mask that I discovered this year is the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. This is a really nice mask because 
It's a lot more low maintenance than the last charcoal mask I used. This one is just in a squeezy bottle so it's ready to go and it takes only probably about five to ten minutes to dry on my face and when you go to rinse this one off it has exfoliating beads in it so you're exfoliating at the same time. So I really like this one just because it was more convenient to put on. I didn't have to leave it on as long and I love that additional exfoliation afterwards. I really liked a few Derma E products this year and probably will continue to try some of their other stuff. My favorite scrub this year is also a late in the year discovery and this is the Coco Vite Bison and Turmeric Polishing Grains. So like I mentioned my skin had really dried out in these past few months at the end of the year and I was needing to exfoliate more often to get rid of the dead skin but I didn't want to use something really drying and harsh. You guys know I love the Cure Brightening Scrub and I've used that for a few years now but if you've used it you know it's relatively harsh and the grains are pretty rough so I needed something that was a lot more gentle and I really love something with just really fine grain so you can use it more often. I wasn't exfoliating my skin as much as we're supposed to so something really light and gentle like this that I can just go in with straight after I cleanse either every night or every other night has worked really well for me. Um, I like this because it is really fine and gentle and I know turmeric is really good for the skin and for the body. The only thing about this is the smell. I think it, when I first use it, it smells like tomatoes. It's not always as pleasant as when you love the scent of something, but I've definitely overlooked that because of the other properties it has. Besides the creamy cleanser, my favorite way to remove makeup this year was just using coconut oil. Now, I know this is like really boring to mention and a lot of people rave about coconut oil and all the wonderful things it does, but it really was the best makeup remover for me this year and even body moisturizer. So I prefer the Trader Joe's Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. It's unrefined and cold pressed and it's really affordable. I love that it comes in a glass bottle and um, I love that you can actually... I love that it's super coconutty smelling. I just scoop out some of this and melt it between my hands and rub it all over my face and try and give myself almost like a facial massage to loosen up my skin and loosen up all that dirt and makeup that's on my face. This dissolves all my makeup really well, dissolves all my eye makeup as well, and does not irritate my eyes when I'm really getting in there with the mascara. And then when I use a warm cloth to wipe this away, my skin just feels super moisturized, really plump, and just taken care of. It doesn't feel dried out or stripped whatsoever. So like I said, with the drier skin that I've been dealing with, this has just been an absolute lifesaver. I've also applied it on my body as moisturizer as well. Along with that, my favorite body moisturizer this year is a little bit boring, but it's something that I found myself reaching back for, and that's the Burt's Bees Body Lotion. For dry skin and you can pick this up at Target and that's kind of why I found it in the first place out of desperation. This does have one ingredient in it that's not so awesome but besides that it's clean. I really like this because it was convenient to find and it's not really scented and it really really has been helping my dry skin especially on my legs so I've been reaching for this. I actually bought it for my fiance to use and then found myself using it instead so it's just a really easy product and kind of no fuss. It's really good for my dry skin and it doesn't leave me feeling greasy. I can still put clothes on afterwards and it's just kind of unscented and really basic. My favorite natural deodorant that I discovered this past year is the native deodorant. I actually got this for Christmas in 2016 so I've used this for an entire year and I've tried maybe three or four different organic deodorants this year and this one is my favorite just because it reminds me the most of a conventional deodorant. It's really soft and not rough under my armpits. I don't have to wait for it to melt and it's not high maintenance in that way. It doesn't hurt my, my underarms when I go to apply it. And then I have the, um, I think, vanilla and coconut scent. And it just has a really nice fragrance to it. It just reminds me the most of conventional deodorant. However, I do still get some odor when I use this, so that's just something I've had to live with. But this has been my favorite this year. Okay, so I believe those were all of my skincare favorites, so let's move into makeup. 
My absolute favorite face primer that I found this year is the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. If you watch my videos, you absolutely know that this is basically all I've used this year and I absolutely love it. I again got this for Christmas last year, so I've been using it for an entire year. I've repurchased it and it's just my favorite product. I love the packaging, I love the pump, I love the way it makes me feel, I love the way it feels on my skin. I personally like a primer that's going to make my skin feel almost re-moisturized and kind of a little bit dampened before I apply makeup because I don't really enjoy the silicone-y um, sensation of those types of primers so this just does everything for me it leaves my skin looking super glowy but it's not too illuminating it doesn't make me look greasy or oily I just absolutely love this primer I cannot recommend it more Unfortunately, I do not have a favorite foundation of the year. I wish I did, but I used Alima Pure again a lot this year, and I tried out a bunch of new foundations, but I can't say any of them are my all-time favorite yet. So I definitely skipped over that category, but I do have a favorite concealer of the year, and that is the Hint Beauty Concealer. I used this a lot throughout the year, and I also tried a ton of concealers this year, and I found myself always going back to this one. I think this has definitely the highest coverage of any organic concealer I have tried to date. This is just the best thing that I have tried. I don't really know what else to say about it besides it has really good coverage. It has pretty good lasting power but not up there with a lot of conventional concealers still in my opinion but it sets really nicely. A few things about this concealer I will warn you are it runs really light. So I have the shade light and that is super duper light. I'd almost be a medium and I have pretty light skin. So if you're interested in this concealer, I would go maybe one shade darker than you normally would. Also, this concealer applies best with minimal product. So this is one concealer where less is definitely more. I either recommend dipping your ring fingers in and warming up the product and lightly pressing it under the eyes with just a little bit of product, you're gonna get the best look and still a lot of coverage. Or what I've been liking recently is taking a flat tip brush and patting it under my eyes, around my nose, wherever I need to get in there just because my nails kind of get in the way, and then blending that in with a beauty blender. And that has actually been working really nice for me as well. Um, but definitely wanted to mention that this is a less is more product, but highly recommend it. My favorite setting powder this year is going to be the Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Powder. I finished up my beauty counter translucent powder and switched over to this one. I like this one a lot. It's very finely milled. I haven't had any issues with it flashing back on me since I started using it and I just, I just like it. It's really no fuss. Um, I do like this better than the RMS Uncover Up and the Well People Invisible Powder for me personally, but it compares really well to the Beauty Counter one. I really love that one, so it just gets the job done for me. My favorite blush that I found this year is actually one of the drugstore products that I discovered when I found that, that new brand called Found at Walmart. If you guys want to see my video on a bunch of their products, I have a video specifically about those, but their blush ended up being my favorite blush of the year, and this is the Baked Illuminating Blush, and this is the shade Pink Glow. So it's a pink blush with a little bit of illuminating properties all in one. Normally I would go with a super basic matte blush, but I really like this on my cheeks. It's the perfect pink for me, and I felt that the illuminating really just kind of meshed in with my highlighter really well, and I actually really enjoyed a little bit of that extra glow. So this is super affordable, and I've just really been liking it lately. So I tried not to repeat a lot of my favorites from the last year, even if I still love and use them, just to show you guys new things. But one thing I had to repeat is the RMS Living Luminizer. This is my favorite highlighter to date, and I didn't even use this for a lot of the year, and then when I started using it again, I was like, this is the best. I love this luminizer because it looks amazing no matter how much makeup you're wearing. This on bare skin would just look absolutely beautiful. It would look 100% natural and just mesh into your skin, giving you that super beautiful, youthful glow. And it works really well over a medium or full coverage makeup look. And so I just love the versatility of this and the way that it illuminates. It doesn't look like shimmer. It doesn't look like a lot of those conventional powder shimmery things. Like it's just 
this just looks the most real of anything I have tried. I absolutely love this. The Living Luminizer is just such a pretty shade. I personally think this would look good on absolutely any skin tone, but if you are darker skin than me, something more towards their Golder Illuminator might be really beautiful on you. But like I said, I just love this. It goes over powder products fine. It goes over a full foundation fine, and it goes on clean skin amazing as well. So it's just my favorite illuminator of the year. So I experimented with a lot of organic mascaras this year, the Well People, the Lily Lolo, the a bunch of Tarte ones, and I actually discovered my favorite mascara of the year is the Honest Beauty Mascara. It has a primer on one side and the mascara wand on the other, and I'm not usually a fan of primers, but I actually really like this one. This has given me the best lashes to date in comparison to what I was used to with a conventional mascara. Um, it just gives me length and volume. It's relatively buildable, and I just think it's the best mascara that I personally have tried. I don't like the Lily Lolo one. I don't know why everyone loves it so much, so this one has really done it for me. Although I will say my second bottle of this, which is this one, was not as amazing as my first one, so I'm not exactly sure if the formulation changed or maybe I got an old tube or something, but this is still my favorite of the year. As for brows, I have yet to find a favorite brow pencil um, that is organic and twist up. You guys know I've been struggling with it. The Honest one just doesn't really have good color payoff and barely works. It's super hard and doesn't glide onto the eyebrows well and the Jane Iredell ones are not the right tone for me. I don't really love brow pomades like everyone loves the plume and the eco brow. I find them to be pretty high maintenance. I just don't love them. They're okay. So I haven't found my favorite brow product, but this year I did love the Glossier Boy Brow. Now this isn't a organic brand or organic product. However, the ingredients in this were relatively clean and so I was using it. Um, I used the clear and the blonde and really liked these. So they do set your brows as well as put a little bit of fibers and pigmentation in them and just really help fluff them up. So I did love those this year. My favorite eyeshadows of the year were the Root Beauty eyeshadows. So in this past year, I decided I wanted to create my own Z palette of eyeshadows that I personally picked and knew I would use and love. I wasn't really seeing an organic palette out there that struck my fancy with colors that I definitely wanted to use. So I took matters into my own hands and ordered individuals instead. I ended up getting my eyeshadows from Red Apple Lipstick and Root Pretty Cosmetics. And the ones I used the most were Sweet Tea by Root Pretty Cosmetics. This is just a really nice crease color for me. Very similar to using a bronzer in your crease, but I find myself reaching for that almost every day. I also did hit pan, so I guess that means something, in the Like You A Latte Shimmery shade. And that is a Red Apple Lipstick one. And I definitely use this a lot, which is just a black one. It's called Black Magic by red apple lipstick as well. I use that along my lash line. And then I guess I use Porcelain by Red Apple Lipstick a decent amount. I did prefer the Root Pretty option just because they were probably at least half the price if not cheaper and the performance is just the same. So I would recommend using those and if I repurchase more that's what I would do. But I really did like having my own custom palette and just having shades that are shades I'm actually going to use and work for me. So I do recommend that if you're not seeing a palette out there that has multiple shades that you even wanna use in the palette. Going on to lips, I feel this is an area that I was just super boring and didn't really experiment too much. I like a lot of low maintenance, easy going lip products because it's not something that I find myself applying throughout the day unless it's like a gloss or a chapstick. So that's kind of what I fell in love with this year. I do have a favorite lip liner because I like to put a liner on under a gloss just for more pigmentation and longer lasting power. My favorite lip liner was the Red Apple Lipstick Natural Lip Liner. This is one of those shades that's like my lips but better. 
It really just blends in with my lips but gives me more color to them and I just really like this for a low maintenance look when you're starting your day. My favorite lip gloss this year is the Kopari Lip Love. Again, this isn't an organic brand but the ingredients are really clean besides it having flavor in it. So I really, really love this though so I had to mention it. It just, I used this and the Lana Lips this year and the Kopari was just so much butterier. It did not get sticky or white on my mouth when I talk like the Lana Lips did, and it's just so amazing. So I had to mention it this year. I absolutely love this, and it just makes my lips look super juicy and shiny and pretty, but it's moisturizing and comfortable at the same time. The other lip product that I love this year is the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balms. I've mentioned these in a couple videos because again, they're really low maintenance, but they do give you a little something something to the lips. These are clean and I like the one pink blossom. It just gives me a little bit of pink color to my face. And lastly, I was really into the Generation G lip product by Glossier. I did use this for a big portion of the year, so I wanted to mention it. It's not, again, super organic, but it is clean and it doesn't have any super harmful ingredients. I love this because it acts almost like a tint because you can really just put a little bit on or layer it up and it's more of a matte but you could wear it under a gloss or you could wear it matte and it doesn't feel drying. So I did really love the versatility and convenience of this product. I only have one favorite hair care product of the year and that is the Inner Sense Shampoo and Conditioner. So I use the Pure Harmony Hair Bath for my shampoo and the Pure Inspiration Daily Conditioner. And these are both lightweight for fine to normal hair. So I personally have very fine hair. I do wear hair extensions so you guys can't really tell on camera but my hair is just naturally very fine so I can't use something that's really going to weigh it down a lot. I discovered Inner Sense I think at the beginning of this year and I loved the shampoo and conditioner and finished it up and then I went on to try a ton of drugstore shampoo and conditioners this year and liked a decent amount of them. I've mentioned them in a lot of my videos through the past year and then found myself coming back to this again at the end of the year. This is my favorite organic shampoo because I like the way that it smells and I like the way that it makes me feel in the shower. This really mimics a high-end salon shampoo and conditioner more than any of the other ones that I really use this year. And having color treated bleached blonde hair, if you guys have this you'll know what I'm talking about but a lot of shampoos when you get in the shower your hair gets a little bit Blonde hair can tend to get a little straw-like and almost squeaky in the shower. And a lot of the shampoos are so hard to even massage into the scalp because the hair is so like hay-like and squeaky. I don't really know how else to explain that, but it's just a terrible sensation. And it makes getting your actual scalp clean really difficult because you can't get in there. So this shampoo and conditioner does not do that for me. Um, it's definitely more expensive than the drugstore ones, but it's not something that I use up very quickly. So this is something I would highly recommend trying and definitely my favorite organic shampoo and conditioner that I have tried to date. I finally discovered my favorite fragrance this year, which I'm super excited to share with you guys. This is the Ellis Brooklyn line of fragrances, and I have the scent Rose. I absolutely am in love with this perfume. So this is going to be a healthier, cleaner option than your conventional perfumes, but still does have fragrance and things in it. If you want to research more about the brand, I highly recommend it. You can read their story and everything on the Ellis Brooklyn website, but I absolutely love this. The packaging is absolutely stunning. It's simple. It's beautiful. It makes me feel luxurious. The lid is magnetic. I just love using it and the scent is phenomenal. Another thing about this is it really does last on me all day. And I use one, maybe two sprays and it will still last on my skin or my clothes all day long. So I absolutely love it. They do this really cool thing where you can buy um, a little book of all of their samples. So you can try all of the scents before you fully commit to one, which I think is really cool. And I got my mom for Christmas so she can kind of see which one she wants before she purchases it. So I love the brand. I love this fragrance and I cannot recommend it more. I did discover this at the Credo Beauty Stores. 
Okay, you guys, so that is it. That is my roundup of my absolute favorite skincare and beauty products that are non-toxic and organic of 2017. I feel like this year I really tried to find products that had better ingredients but I wasn't really concerned on the brand or anything like that and I think going into 2018 my goal for the year is going to be to really discover brands that have more of an organic focus and their goal is to be non-toxic and organic and not just find my way around bad ingredients. I really want to discover more brands this year and just kind of dive even deeper into that world. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and saw something maybe you're interested in and thank you for watching my videos if you do. If you guys really do like my videos, don't hesitate to like them or comment on them or even subscribe to my channel if this is something that you're actually really interested in and you enjoy watching. It really does help me and helps us build a community here which is just really fun. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next videos of 2018.